This guide is designed to help you set up and use the STW range of digital torque wrenches. This covers model numbers STW 306, 308, 309, 290, 291 and 292. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to take the machine out. It's supplied with batteries. We need to unscrew the battery compartment cover and then with the positive end of each battery going in first, fill it with the four batteries, like so, and then replace the battery cover and we're ready to roll. The first thing we need to do then is to turn the machine on, which is this top left hand button here. Press it once and now you get the introductory screen. The first figure is the target torque, which is the figure that you need to achieve. The next is the real time torque, so this is the figure that is actually being measured as you tighten. This next one is the torque unit, so whether it's newton meters or pounds per square inch. This one is the memory storage number. There are five preset memories for both torque and also for angle. This shows the battery level. These symbols are P for peak and T for track. The peak is when you measure and it records the highest pressure that you've applied. The T is for track, where it literally follows the amount of pressure that you're applying at the time you're putting pressure on the wrench. So when you take the pressure off, it'll turn back to zero. That's the most common one that you'll be using. And the final one is the minus symbol for anti-clockwise rotation for left-handed threads. Then we have the control panel buttons. The first is the on-off button. This one is for the button for memorizing the torque or angle setting. Then the button for selecting the stored torque or angle settings in the memory. And this button zeroes the torque settings. And finally, this button illuminates the display after you've held it in for three seconds and it's also used to move to the next digit when you're setting torque or angle settings. Okay, the torque wrench can save up to five torque settings and five angle settings within its memory. To change them, the first thing they go through is the torque settings, so I'll show you how to do that. You press the plus button and hold it in until the numbers start to scroll in the memory. You can see here, this is the memory for the torque settings. In this case, I want to change the first setting, so I'll wait for it to scroll around to number one, which is coming up now, and then release the button. We stay on number one and press it once again to change it. It's showing 20 here. I want to zero that by pressing the zero button. And then I can choose by pressing this button how many hundreds I want. In this case, I don't want hundreds, so I'll zero it again. And I can move to the next digit by pressing the bottom right hand button, like so. In this case, I want 50. In fact, let's make it 55. Move over to the next one and make it 55. So that is now set. I can then press the MU button again to store the figure. It then goes on to the degrees. And the same thing applies then. These are, this is for the angle setting. I've zeroed it and now, well, I can make it 100, or scroll over again to the middle one by pressing the same button again. And I want to change that to 30. And we'll store that again. So now we're showing here 55 on the first figure here for the torque. And then I can then move on to the next memory by repeating the procedure each time to change the torque or the angle setting. If I just want to change the angle setting, I can do the same procedure again, press and hold the plus, scroll through to the one that I want to change. So in this case, well, let's go for number four, press the button again. I'm happy with the torque setting, so I'll just accept that by pressing the MU button. And this is what I want to change, is the 70 on the, the angle. So I've zeroed it, move over to the center. I want to make it 50, and I'll store that now. And that's now corrected. You can change all of the memories in the self-same fashion by repeating the procedure for each one. And that's how you set up the memory. Okay, I'm now gonna show you how to use the torque wrench to measure torque, and I've, for clarity, I've mounted it in a vise. Um, the first thing we need to do is to press and hold the plus button here to scroll through the memory and choose the torque setting that we desire. In this case, 
I'm going to go for 100 Newton meters, which is here at M3. So that's now set and ready. The next stage on now is to apply steady pressure. What will happen when it, as, as the pressure builds, leading up to 50% of the, uh, the desired torque setting, it will be flashing green, and then it turns yellow. And when it's within 2% of the target figure, it starts to buzz and flash red. When it becomes a constant buzz, you're actually reaching your torque setting. And when it goes beyond, it turns green. So I'll show you on here now, it happens quite quickly. So there's the green flashing now, then it turns yellow. There we are, and it starts to buzz and then solid and turns green. Okay, so the next stage on is to use it for measuring angle. First thing I need to do is switch out of the torque mode by pressing the light on button once, give it four dashes up, followed by zero degrees. We can now, as we did before, press and hold the plus button to scroll through the angle preset memory settings we've got here. And as you can see here, I want five degrees, which is there. So I release the button. We're now ready to use it and measure. I'll apply pressure and same as before, we're gonna get the similar sort of lights showing up here up to 50% um, of the green, then it changes to yellow. The difference is this time, when you reach your desired angle setting, you get a constant buzzing tone. When you get to that, you've reached the setting. So here we go. We can then back off and press the light button once, which ends it, and we can use it again if you need to do another fixing. If not, you can then turn it on and off to go back to your torque wrench setting. Okay, that completes the setup of the torque wrench. Look out for our other instructional videos and thanks for watching.